Hey guys, Smart Adeyemi, a former senator who represented Kogi West in the Ninth National Assembly, has stated that he picked his president, Bola Tinubu, because he is carrying a burden that he never even thought about. He added that he commends his courage in pushing his policies forward to ensure that there is development in the country. Speaking in an interview with TVC, Adeyemi stated that the last trip made by President Tinubu was commendable because it was designed to attract foreign investment to Nigeria, and these have got people talking. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. I pity President Tunubu because he's carrying a burden he never even uh, thought about. Smart Adeyemi, a former senator who represented Kogi West in the Ninth National Assembly, has stated that he pity President Bola Ahmed Tunubu because he's carrying a burden that he never even thought about. He added that he commends his courage in pushing policies forward to ensure that there is development in the country. Speaking in an interview with TVC, Adeyemi stated that the last trip made by President Tinubu was commendable because it was designed to attract foreign investment to Nigeria. According to him, I think we must commend the courage of President Bola Tinubu in his efforts to reform the economy and the social economic activities of our nation. Having said this, let me say that this is a government that inherited a lot of misplaced priorities and to some extent, some, some inexplicable mismanagement of public funds. I pity the president because he's carrying a burden that perhaps he never even thought about. A lot of things were not done properly. And you can see a lot of revelations so far. A man to still have the courage and be pushing ahead. The last, trip, the last trip the president made was highly commendable, attracting foreign investments to Nigeria. He said, APC can never cease, you know, surprising people. Why are they even complaining? Talking about inheriting whatever burden from where, from who? Is it not the same APC government? Tinubu said he knows everything. So who said he thought, uh, he said Tinubu thought, uh, what Tinubu thought is not what he's saying. He know what he, he came to do. He saw everything before he said MLL call. You understand? So nobody should start complaining. The one I will not take is APC saying President Tinubu he inherited burden from who? From which government? The same APC government are be. <laughs> now I see them sit talk, say they go continue from where you know the the are principal, you know, stop. So why are they complaining? APC have no more no much to complain in this country at all. Waiting they grant, now they keep them. Now they go still match and them. Now see be. You understand? Is it by going traveling abroad that we that we stop naira, uh, uh, that we stop a dollar from, you know, <laughs> going up? I be mean, is it by traveling abroad that we make life, you know, better for Nigerians here? How many investors do you do you think that can come to a country where you feel you are not safe? We have to deal with all these issues first. So many companies don't they leave Nigeria already because of the high cost of living. You never address those issues. You don't even need to travel to ask people to come and invest. Markets, eh? It just be like when you carry better good for markets. You don't need to shout too much. Your goods that attract people to come. 
Now see, B, that is how business is. You don't need to preach too much, asking people to convince people to come and buy from you. No. Now that goods when you shade as it is pack. Now they bring people, they come, they meet you. Not be juju be that. Nigerian government have to deal with the issues in this country first before talking about traveling to go and convince investors to come. Nobody wants to come to a country when you are not safe. Nobody wants to. Nobody wants to come to invest in a country when the economy is not stable. Nobody wants to. So we should stop deceiving ourselves. We should stop deceiving ourselves. This is not the time to praise anybody. Me, I know. Life, even since Buari left office, life have doubled. Du in fact, hardship have doubled 50 times. Even when Buari was there, Nigerians were still complaining. Say life not easy. You can imagine at that time. And the hardship don't double like five times. And you want Nigerians to clap for you when you talk. You know easy. You understand? You know easy. Even though say you're there abroad, you get people when they're in Nigeria. You know how it be. You understand? And they tell you, and you yourself, they feel the impact over there. So, these people should stop complaining and stop talking. They should hit the ground running because that is what they said. They are the master of strategists. They know the job. They build Lagos. They will build Nigeria. Nigeria is getting worse every now and then. Senators are buying cars worth of millions of dollars. Why Nigerians are suffering there? Is even now corruption is taking, is really sitting down very well. Happy soon, now we're done. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.